An emotional outburst happened this afternoon in court when the two suspects in the murder of 19 year old Lizette Cuesta made their first appearance. ABC 7 News reporter Laura Anthony is live in Dublin uh, with what the young victim's family yelled at the suspected killers. Laura. Well, hi, Dan. With Lizette's grieving father inside the courtroom in the front row during this brief hearing, all the bailiffs seemed focused on him, but it was a young woman sitting behind him with the family who jumped up and screamed expletives at Melissa Leonardo, including the phrase, you'll get what you deserve. It was a brief but emotional hearing. No. As three families touched by the murder of 19 year old Lizette Cuesta sat just feet from one another in a Dublin courtroom. Each left without talking to reporters after the arraignment for the two suspects in Cuesta's murder. 19 year old Daniel Gross and 25 year old Melissa Leonardo was put off until Thursday. We, we, weren't, we weren't ready for this. Earlier, we talked with Lizette's father, Ray Cuesta, as he stood outside his Tracy home. Lizette was found stabbed multiple times along Livermore's Tesla Road early Monday. Monday. She died a few hours later, but not before identifying the people who allegedly attacked her. Everybody knows how tough she was, how strong she was, you know. She showed that at the end, always. Alameda County Sheriff's investigators say Lizette was able to speak near the end, enough to provide detectives with two names. She never gave up, you know. <laughs> she brought herself justice. She made, she made sure that people got caught, and now, you know, they have to pay for what they did. I mean, it, it won't bring her back, but at least they're not out there running around the streets. Gross and Leonardo have both been charged with murder, including the use of a knife by Gross. Both are expected back in court on Thursday. In Dublin, Laura Anthony, ABC 7 News. A GoFundMe account has been set up to raise money to help Lizette Cuesta's family. In just about 24 hours, it has raised more than $10,000 of the $30,000 goal. Friends and family honored Lizette last night during a vigil in San Jose where she attended high school. They remember her as a bubbly, genuine person.